Hey everyone, this is Just For Fun giving you another Funko Pop video review. For today, we have The Flash from Pop Heroes Justice League 2 pack. FYI, we're just gonna focus on The Flash. We're not gonna review the box and Superman. Since this is not a Star Wars or a Disney Funko Pop, it comes with a 360 articulation on its neck. Unfortunately, the articulation is not that 100% smooth. So whenever you try to turn it, his thumb actually hits the design under his head. And if you're not careful, his thumb will leave like a paint print on his face. Now let's focus in on the Funko head. The sculpting is well done, the paint job is clean, and they use the perfect red for this one. Here's what the left side looks like. I love the sculpting of the ears, the flash ears. I'm not sure what you call them. I love the color gold that they used here. And of course, same as with the other side, it really looks great. And you can also see like the Wi-Fi helmet design. It's sculpted pretty well. This is just me being nitpicky, but you can see like there are gaps between the ears and the helmet. It's obvious that it's been glued together, unlike the other side. And for the top of his helmet, not much going on except the two black stripes sculpted and painted there. And of course, the best part of the helmet is the Wi-Fi like design on the back of his head. It's sculpted and painted pretty well. Oh no, there are like small smudges of black, but it's okay. But the sculpting is really well done. For the production codes, it's actually located at the bottom of his head. I'm not sure if you can see it clearly because it's black. But anyway, moving on with the Funko body, I love the sculpting here, the design, the likeness, they captured it perfectly. And if you could focus in on the flash symbol, it's painted pretty well. And for his left arm, I really do like the paint job again and the sculpting, especially with the hands and fingers. I also love that they added the blue transparent lightning and the material they used for that one is a bit soft so no worries in accidentally damaging it. And here's the other side of that same arm. As you can see, the lightning still trails up until his arm and the paint job in his fingers is still good. And here's the other arm. Also looks great. A bit similar to the other arm, just on a different pose. And here's the other side of that same arm. Moving on with the back of the fungal body, not much going on. Paint job is good. Sculpting is also well done. It's just that they didn't include like the wires, especially in the front side. And here's the right leg. I love that they added the blue lightning streak here. And they also included all the gold and black pieces here. Painted it well and sculpted it well. So kudos to Funko for good attention to detail. What's nice about this leg is that they included like a smoke that's painted white. And then on that white smoke, they attached a blue lightning streak. Again, the material used here is a bit soft, so no worries in accidentally damaging it. And that's what they use for the base. So yes, this Fungo Pop comes with a transparent plastic base. As for the other leg, as you can see, the blue lightning continues to wrap. And again, they added the gold and black pieces and sculpting. They did a pretty good job in painting it as well. So yeah. And just so you know, there's no sculpting or design at the bottom of his feet. So that's really unfortunate. But anyway, overall, a really good looking Funko Pop. And here's Flash doing a cool pose. And another one. That's it everyone. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Did you like the new The Flash movie? Peace.